Number five says, understand your fears and process those fears. Don't be afraid to say what you're afraid of. People have fears. I'm afraid that this business, if I start it, it might not work. I'm afraid that, oh my God, am I going to be able to manage this? We use your fears to motivate and inspire and equip yourself. Don't be afraid because we have been taught as a society that when you say you're afraid of something, that means you're a weakling. No, baby, that's a lie from the pit of hell. When you say you're afraid of something, that doesn't make you a weakling. That makes you a matured person. Who knows what you can do and what you cannot do? Hey, I'm afraid I want to start this business, but I'm afraid what if I don't manage it? Then you will go look for people that will help you. If it is education you need, you go get it. If it is hiring the best people, you go get them. If it is getting somebody to help you with some software, you equip yourself now because of that fear. That fear is the driving force that will make you a better you because you don't want to fall. You don't want to fail in that business. So because you don't want to fail, so you are going to do everything humanly possible to make sure that you thrive and succeed. So it is not a failure. That's number five. Life from Atlanta, from Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderfully made Wonderful. by God. Welcome to the prediction. Number five say you understand your fears and you process those fears. Don't shy away from your fears. Don't let nobody tell you that when you say what you're afraid of, you are a weakling. Oh, you are not a man. You are afraid you're not a man. You are afraid you're not a woman. Oh, you're not a mature person. It's a lie. Yes, you are mature. When you know that, hey, this I can't do. I'm willing to try, but I'm scared that I might not do it well. But you know, if you guys teach me, I will learn. That is the height of maturity. That is the height of you taking care of yourself. That is the height of self-care. When you know what you can do and what you can do and make, and, make, uh, and make plans to equip yourself to be able to do those things, that is self-care. Number C says, let go of toxic people. Sometimes we find it so difficult to let go of toxic people. Toxic people in the sense that you know these people are not good for you. You know that your girlfriend is toxic. You know that your boyfriend is toxic. You know that your man friend is toxic. He is not good for you. Every time he's around, all he talks about is let's go get into fight. Let's go, go do drugs. Let's go do this. That's your girlfriend. Whenever she's around, she's always talking about let's do this. Let's do that. Let's... And this is not who you are. You are not this person she wants to turn you into. You are not a fighter. You don't go start a fight. You don't go fight on the street. That's not who you are. But this person is making you do it. But you don't have the guts to say, Nay. Oh, Zola, thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Felicia. No, 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 you're not my friend because this is not me. Whenever I'm around you, I turn into this person I can't recognize. And that's not me. It is okay to let go toxic people. That's number six. The number six tip to self-care. It's okay to say, Mba, you are not good for me, baby. No. You put me in trouble, you get me in trouble. Since we became friends, I've been arrested three times. Since we became friends, I've broken into people's houses four times. I'm shoplifting since we are friends. I'm doing things I'm not supposed to do. This friendship is not working for me. It's not working. That's number six tip. Let go of toxic people. When you know it is toxic, it's destroying who you are. It's destroying your happiness. If you love yourself, like the definition says, the highest level of taking care of yourself and your happiness, whereby you do not sacrifice who you are to please others. Then you tell those people, bye-bye, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. We have had enough. It was good while it lasted, but no more. Because you are not good for me. And it's okay. That is the height of loving yourself. When you know that this is not good for me. And I'm going to let this go because it's not good for me. I can't keep doing this. It's not good for me. So that's number six. When you get to that level where you know something is toxic in your life. And you say, Mba, bye bye. Mba, no, 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 no. You are not my friend though. Keep going. 
Keep marching forward. Nee, bye bye. Go on, no. Go, go, go. I don't need you anymore. Then you know that you have gotten to that stage of self care. That means you have taken care of yourself, whereby you have put yourself up there above every other thing. Number seven says, trust yourself to make good decisions. That's after you have seen these toxic people. Trust yourself to say, I can make good decisions because most of the time we do not trust our decision-making skills. We don't trust ourselves that, you know what? I have looked at this thing. It's not working for me. This relationship is not working for me. It has given me more trouble than happiness. You know what? I'm going to let this go. Trust yourself to make that decision. Trust your instinct. Your instincts are not deceiving you. That little still voice. People say, oh, it's my heart. It's my spirit. No, it's the spirit of God in you. That spirit in you that you listen to. Some people call it conscience. Some people call it the angel on this side and the devil on the other. Whatever it is, I call it the spirit of God that is telling you, Hakudo, Hakudo, you know that girl is not good for you. You know that man is not good for you. Stay away from that girl. Stay away from that man. Don't talk to that man. Cut this relationship is destroying you. Ne, this relationship is this. That voice, listen to that voice. Trust that voice. That voice that is telling you, don't go down that road. There are certain times you want to do something and your spirit will tell you, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go there. Don't go with them. You'll get in trouble. There'll be trouble over there. That's the spirit of God telling you, Newe Paaka, take your hands off. Stay away. Trust your decision-making skills. Trust that you are capable to make decisions for yourself. That is the height of self-care. That means you have taken, but when you can trust yourself that you know what is good for you. You know what is not good for you. You know what will benefit you will benefit from. And you know what you are not benefiting from. That is number seven. Number eight says, seize every opportunity. Every moment counts. Every moment counts. Seize every opportunity. Some of us are waiting for the big opportunity. Oh, I'm waiting for... Um, all I'm waiting for. I'm stressed right now. I need relaxation, but I don't have money right now. Let me wait. Maybe by end of the month, I'll have money to go to a spa. Your husband can massage you while you're waiting for the spa. Your husband can massage you. Your wife can massage you. You can take care of yourself if you don't have money to go do your nails, your hair. You can sit in your house and do it yourself. You can relax and just sit down and say, today, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to watch the TV. I'm going to eat my popcorn, get a favorite movie, and just relax. That's your relaxation. If you don't have money to go on vacation, that's your relaxation right there. There are so many ways you can seize the moment and take care of yourself. Some people think that self-care is you have to save money and then go to Cancun, go to Mexico. It is good if you have the money. Go do it, sister. Go. I'm a strong believer in one life to live. Go out there and enjoy your life. But if you don't have the money, you can give yourself, go downtown. Get inside your car, go downtown, go to the mall. Go do sightseeing, look, and then sit down somewhere, order something to eat, eat, relax. You are not stressing yourself out, you're just having fun. Do come back home, do your nails, do your feet, you know, take a good shower, get to fill your tub, stay inside your tub, relax, get your soda, get your juice, get something to drink, and just stay inside your tub, relax, and then come out, soak yourself, and then come out. <coughs> Excuse me, come out and then go eat something. That is a whole day of spa right inside your house. You didn't have to spend money for that. My sister, my brother, we have to get to the moment where we seize every opportunity to take care of ourselves. Don't always wait. If you know how to cook and you want to eat something nice, you want to eat something nice and you don't have the money to go to a restaurant and go order this and that, but you know how to Everything is on YouTube, my sister. Everything is on YouTube. Every menu, every food, every preparation recipe is on YouTube. Go to YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, type in the food. You will see how to prepare it. Head over to Kroger, buy what you need, get to your kitchen, cook it, serve it with your a real cup of Coke or Fanta or whatever you drink. Sit down, turn on your TV and eat and enjoy yourself. You have to take care of yourself. Seize every moment. Don't always wait for the big moment. The big moment may never come. The big money might not come to take care of the big moment. Take the little moment. Seize everything that you can. Relax. Take care of yourself. 
my sister, you come first. Take care of yourself. And that's number eight. Number nine says, put yourself first. Numero uno. Number one, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You see, this is for my sisters. We are so busy taking care of everybody. We're taking care of our husbands. We're taking care of our children. We're taking care of our in-laws. We're taking care of the family where we are born into. We're taking care of our friends. That most of the time, we forget to take care of ourselves. You take care of everybody, but you forget to take care of yourself. I am a strong believer of if I take care of you, I take a minute and take care of me. Because if I am not there, I will not be able to take care of all these people. You need to take care of yourself so that you can be equipped to go take care of this whole battalion of people. Take care of yourself. Put yourself first. Don't always put yourself last. I notice that as mothers and some fathers too. <clears throat> excuse me. As a mother and some fathers too, we always want to put every other person first. Our children, our spouse, our relationship, everything first. Our work first, first, first. Where are you, sister? Where are you, brother? You put everybody first that you are lost in the midst. When everybody goes, your husband leaves, your children go to school, and everybody leaves, you don't even know who you are because you have been lost. You are lost. You've been lost for a long time in this whole in this whole maze. You don't know where you belong. You don't know whether you're going or you're coming. Take care of yourself. Put yourself first. It's good to love and share and take care of people. <clears throat> But as you're doing that, please, my sister, please, my brother, please, my uniques, remember to put yourself first too. 